What do you think? That's nice. This place is over 500 years old. Wow, 500? Well, most of it's a Catholic church from Spain. It was abandoned after the Crusades. The original owners of this land brought it over board by board, stone by stone. They had it rebuilt by an all-Spanish team of craftsmen. It cost them a fortune. I'll bet. Yeah, it's just money, though. Just things. This could be a hacienda to you, and to me, it's just an old church with bad wiring. Did you know they used to send kids, or small children actually, into battle during the Crusades? It's true. Makes you think about the nature of things, doesn't it? And to me, it takes away from the splendor of a pad like this. We're getting kind of deep for our first conversation. I'm getting deep? Shit. I don't usually get deep to my second bottle of rum. What do you think you're doing? I was, uh, what was I supposed to not try and read it? This thing might have some secrets on how these guys pick up women or something. Not a good idea, Dan. These, these frat guys are really weird about people looking at their secret stuff. Do you want to get us thrown out of here? Come on, let's go wait by the door for Chris, OK? Jordan, my man, I'm gonna need some more liquor. Hi, Captain. Don't they usually dole that out with an eyedropper? Yeah, they're supposed to, yeah, but who does what they're supposed to? What about you? Name your poison. Uh, I don't have a poison. Really? All right, we'll find you one then. Absinthe on the rocks. The devil's brew. Think you can handle it? Yeah, the kid can handle anything. Look, Chris, you can't deny anything until you've tried it and learned how to hate it firsthand. Who said the path of excess leads to the palace of wisdom? Was it Nietzsche? I don't think it was Nietzsche. All right, we're okay then. Try it. <laughs> How was it? It really didn't taste much like anything. Right. Another demon cut down to size. Tell me, why'd you take a drink of that? Because... Oh, because I asked you to. Well... You're among friends now, Chris. You can tell us. Well, yeah, okay. Because you told me to. Good for you. That's the first step. First step to what? Get moving, keeps the blood flowing. What? Then we're going to your bedroom? Yeah. It's right down the hall. <sighs> and with that, he was gone. Are you going to show me what that is? I'll tell you all about it when we get to <laughs> I don't get it. The one guy who doesn't want to come tonight ends up rubbing elbows with the big man on campus. I swear to God, I hate jocks. I think you're selling yourself short, Dan. Really? Well, you know, I try not to talk about my good looks or my wealthy family or how good I am in the sack, but, you know. At least you ended up with the girl, right? Oh, I get it. If you can't have steak, you'll settle for hamburger. Well, you have to cut up steak with a knife, and I'm really lazy. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave the rest of the analogies at home for the night. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. I think I hit my arm. I remember my first beer. Hmm. You know, drunken spectacles aren't really my scene. Do you want to go somewhere boring and grab some coffee? I'll buy. Well, uh, what about Chris? I think it's safe to say that Chris is no longer a factor. Let's make tracks. Yeah. 